Right, okay, don't okay. Don't know how this is gonna turn out, but we will do our best. Alright, today we're in the Xantia. This is uh, a car that is I use on a daily basis. Give it a minute or two for it to raise up. Right, I just want to uh, quickly uh, say a few things before we make our little trip. Is um, this uh, Citroen Xantia is what I, which I got on uh, December, and um, yeah, I tell you what, it's been an absolute lifesaver. Um, it's my daily drive. Uh, I use it near enough every single day. Uh, my C5, uh, well both C5s actually, uh, going to work, uh, they're hardly warm up or anything, I only work about 3 miles away, so uh, taking the C5s um, to work is just not an option for me. Uh, I have tried it in the past, uh, but it just, I just had endless of problems, so uh, yeah. Um, so obviously having another car like the Xantia uh, is, is perfect for me really. Um, so yeah, what can I say? Right, I'm just going to get that out of the way. Just one, it's had its stay and two, not entirely sure you guys on the GoPro can see that. Uh, so I've got obviously the GoPro, I've got my um, normal phone which is on top of the dashboard. And I've also got my old phone, uh, which is doing the um, the sound uh, recording and whatnot. So uh, hopefully, uh, all three things I can put together into uh, some sort of little video. So uh, right today we are uh, leaving my place where I live, and we're off down to Richard's place, uh, which is just over a mile away if that um, and we're going to be working on his white C5 uh, which has been featured in quite a few videos um, so what we're going to do uh, today is a passenger front mirror uh, it needs replacing it's had its time and also we're going to have a quick look at the um, the airbag warning light so uh, that's what we're going to do today. So uh, yeah, let's get the show on the road. But you know, what can you do? Right, my old phone's going to be moving about, so I'm going to chuck it down there for a minute. <clears throat> now the Santia, um, in some of my videos, you do see it in the background. Um, so, yeah, it's near enough being everywhere with me. And all right, let's get the show on the road.
left, stick it in reverse, hard right, stick it forwards, hard left again. It's a pretty tight um, junction that was. So Now, what I tend to do with diesel cars is once I park that, leave it ticking over for a couple of minutes. Um, it's only because of the turbo and everything else, everything gets all warm. Um, never, ever, ever, ever um, rev a diesel engine and then switch it off. You do that, you get smacked hands for doing that. Now, in hindsight, you uh, damage your turbo. Uh, that's uh, the most common turbo failures is uh, a lot of people doing that. Uh, you'd be surprised on how many turbos have actually replaced in the past because um, their owners rev the engines up and then switch them off. What I can say is, you should have bought a petrol, not a diesel. You donut. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just give, just leave the engine running just for a couple of minutes, let it idle just on its own, and then I'll switch it off. Um, yeah, what can I say? Right, okay, so here we are down at the uh, White C5. Uh, today's task is we're going to change the uh, passenger front uh, wing mirror. Uh, it's broken in quite a few places, so we're just going to put a second hand one on just for the minute uh, until we can actually get the proper, um, the proper one for the car. Um, so, yeah, right, well, we're going to keep this car as standard as much as we can. Um, so, the only things we got in stock is the uh, exclusive wing mirrors which has the color coded uh, outer covers uh, obviously the ALXs all come as standard as black so uh, yeah it's gonna have a, an odd colored uh, wing mirror but that's only until we can get hold of a, 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 a proper black one for it so yeah um, also today's task is we're going to be uh, checking out on the um, the airbag system. Uh, there is a fault in one of the curtain airbags which runs from front uh, front to rear um, airbag which is in the roof lining. So we're going to have a take a look at that and find out why it's not working or do it's its thing. So yeah, right, I'm going to bring you over here. Now to get these door trims off is there's this cover just here. You pop the cover off and there's a bolt inside there. Uh, again with the speaker. Uh, you pop the cover off and there's I think there's over four or six screws around the speaker uh, once you've taken the screws out and the speaker comes off there's a, another screw just on the bottom and I think there's one on the top as well which holds the panel onto the actual door uh, and I don't think there's any other screws apart from this clip on the side so we've got to pop that off and hopefully this little trim here hopefully i should be able to oh, somebody's glued that in place wonderful uh so we've got to remove this cover as well and there's another two bolts uh that we've got to remove uh the the, the door panel will then come off and then it's just a matter of disconnecting the switch for the uh, electric window and obviously this cover up here needs to just come off. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is put you on the, uh, the camera stand and I will, um, what you call it? Uh, I will make the, uh, just so you don't know, just so you're not watching me do all this, uh, I'm gonna put it on fast speed. So uh, yeah, you guys at home won't get too bored.
I'll put that off to one side. Let's get the replacement. As you can see, nice little wing mirror. So we're gonna go and fit this one. So you notice with uh, this particular mirror, there's two plugs, and the other one was uh, only one plug. The uh, the LXs don't have uh, the electric mirrors to uh, fold them. So uh, we're not too worried about that. We're just interested in the black plug, not the brown one. So let's crack on with this. interesting right um, as you can see uh, I didn't film anything to do with the airbag at all uh, that is a specialized uh, system and you need to be qualified in order to uh, work on them which is what I am but due to health and safety and all those other regulations and things like that I can't physically show you on how I uh, test airbags but the uh, airbag that's like in the in sort of like in the roof line in uh, the driver's side is completely faulty. So we do have a replacement one um, from the C5 Caravan. So we will be putting that in uh, soon. Uh, it's a matter of Richard needs to go to um, the storage place where we got most of the parts. Uh, he needs to go and fish it out whenever convenient it is for him so um, at the moment it's a matter of we can't do any more to the car I've done as much as I can um, roadworthy and everything else so uh, apart from trying to get it through the MOT it's not going to pass its MOT with that airbag light on and Richard knows that uh, so what we've done is put the white C5 on hold for the minute until um, until Richard's able to get the part, so uh, I will sh uh, I will do uh, a video of me replacing the airbag, but I won't tell you how to do it. Um, like I said, it's a specialised uh, specialised system, and if you do it incorrectly, it will end up killing you. Um, so yeah, after all, it is an explosive device so yeah safety is paramount well um nothing more i can do other than go back home hello and welcome my name is hannah and i'm the c5 nut well today we're going to be installing the um the new replacement driver's airbag 
which runs uh, along the roof lining on the uh, Citroen C5 and it's for this white car here so this big thing here is the um, is the replacement uh, roof airbag so what I'll do is I'll quickly uh, flip the camera around and show you uh, exactly what sort of panels I need to remove in order to get to this airbag in the uh, in the uh, the boot so what we need to do is pull this panel off it's just a couple of clips that will just come off and then we've got to undo all the brackets and the handles on the roof not to mention this center light here so I'll just go around I don't know if you guys can see this but just in here uh, there's uh, two screws and the same with these uh, grab handles. If you pop these uh, covers off, you see another screw behind there. Uh, and then obviously the centre light. And I'm hoping I can get away with not removing the sun visors. But the covers down on the A post will need to come off as well. Again, that's just clipped in. So uh, I'm going to pause the video here and I'll take all these door handles and things off and uh, I'll bring it back. Uh, this is the old one, uh, the old airbag and this is the new one. Um, I'll just quickly bring you in. So as you can see I've got part of the thing down, taking off the plastic panels and all the other bits and pieces on the roof lining. Didn't need to take this light off at the top or the bottom but unfortunately I had to take off that uh, uh, driver's um, sun visor. And what I was able to do is I was able to just squeeze the airbag through the scap, so this is the roof lining and this is the door seal. I just managed to squeeze it through this gap. Right, uh, so basically, like I said, this is the old one. This is a, uh, well, this is um, a second hand one we've got in storage. But I just want, just to clarify a couple of things, is on the actual airbags it says R and on this one it says left or L. Uh, so R means drivers and L means passenger side. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've actually had people asking me, well, I come to fit my airbag and it don't fit. So I ask them, well, does it say R or does it say L? And obviously whatever airbag they're trying to fit, they had the opposite one. So even though these airbags may look the same, just double confirm it about the, the big letter in on the actual airbag to make sure you have got the right one. Uh, right, okay, so it's time to put the new one in and uh, hopefully go from there. Also, at this stage, I want to, I can't stress enough to you guys out there that if you're going to play with airbags, please, 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 please make sure the battery is disconnected and leave it for half an hour. Uh, because you don't want these airbags going off. If this airbag was to go off, it has the potential to kill you. So please, if you're going to do airbags, make sure you disconnect the battery and leave it for half an hour. Uh, I know some people say, oh yeah, I'll give it five minutes or ten minutes. My, I, I want to tell you guys, just give it a little bit longer for your safety. Alright? So, uh, yeah. Unless you know what you're doing, guys, if, if you're not a professional or you've never touched anything to do with airbags, please don't bother touching them. Um, it is, it's not worth your life, all right? Right, well, let's crack on with the next stage. Well, the deed has been done. I've uh, put the uh, new replacement, well, I'm not new, but second-hand replacement airbag uh, unit in and I've basically rebuilt the whole car. So hopefully, if I can just hit the right button. Nope, bear with me two seconds, I'll pause the video and then I'll show you exactly what I've done. Okay. So as you can see, I've put plastic panels back in. Uh, let's go the other way. 
all the handles and things are all back on. Uh, let's get in through the driver's seat. The A post covers back on, some visors back on, grab handles are back on, everything's all back on as it should. So, what are you reckon then, guys? So, we see if this airbag light will go out. I'll put you there. So, as you can see, the airbag light. Oh, look, it's gone out. Yay! Right, I have noticed it's got a bit of a warning light here to say that the coolant level's low. Um, that's not surprising, it's very hot today. So we will sort that out. Traffic master. Get rid of that traffic, traffic master. Alright, oh, yeah, all the lights have now gone out. And that's just beeping to say that the driver's door's open. So that's that's not bad like i said people i didn't want to sort of do a tutorial on how to take these airbags out i mean it's very dangerous uh, unless you know what you're doing um don't attempt this at all uh take it to a professional who knows exactly what they're doing and uh yeah right i'm gonna uh, just stop the video for a minute i have a quick smoke and i'll do the next video um, which will be uh, explaining uh, about the conversation I had with Richard a, a few moments ago in regards to uh, what we're going to do with this uh, white C5. So, I'll see you shortly, people. Okay, uh, hopefully this will be um, a little short clip just to uh, end, uh, end this uh, big video uh, in regards to the um, airbags and things uh, we've done everything we can on this car um, literally the back end's just been completely rebuilt um, so it's got rear distant pads it's got new rear calipers uh, it's got new trailing arm bearings the trailing arms have been powder coated um, it's got replacement brake pipe it's got new brake hoses the flexies um it's got new well replacement driver's airbag uh the front discs were absolutely fine but we replaced the pads we've uh sorted out the caliper issue um uh, it was sticking a little bit uh it's got new handbrake uh both sides uh handbrake cables and also the uh, the tubes for them they've all been replaced uh yeah um the belly pan and everything else underneath is all complete. It's all under there. The wheel arch covers all back on. Uh, engine covers. Yeah, they're all back on. Um, this one here is missing a couple of clips. And so is the uh, the top uh, cover for that uh, passenger front sphere cover. That's missing a couple of clips as well. But that's, you know, something we're going to order. And apart from the headlights, need a good clean uh, and two tyres, uh, this thing's ready for the MOT. Now, speaking to Richard, and obviously with, uh, I, I go to, if you guys don't know me, I go to near enough quite a lot of the Citroen shows. Um, so he's inspired to actually take this one, um, which personally personally i think that's a bloody good idea um all the shows i've been to i haven't come across uh um a mark one citroen c5 in white um like i said there's only one of seven uh in this country and this is one of them um so yeah he's quite eager to uh, get this one into a show He's going to do a lot of uh, detailing work. He's going to actually spend some money getting getting it uh, fully valeted um, inside and out. Um, we're going to give it probably a good sort of polish and whatnot. Um, so that is uh, future videos, hopefully, uh, fairly soon. Um, at the same time, uh, we have to sort our little miniature workshop out, which... Richard says he's uh, he's going to start sorting that out. So uh, 
yeah this is this is one nice car even though it's a basic model i tell you what i'm getting kind of attached to this thing even though i've got two c5s myself but yeah there is a couple of modifications i have mentioned to um um to richard uh for this car is maybe stick a tow bar on the back um not entirely sure if you guys are aware but 2014 i had an accident in the uh, green c5 where someone shunted me in the back um the car even though there was a lot of damage done uh the only thing that actually saved the car from still being able to you know be on the road was the tow bar so i suggested just to fit a tow bar it's it's just that added um uh, added security knowing that if something does happen you've got a chance well these these are cat you know cat five rating anyway but you know if you want to try and keep it on the road if someone does shunt you in the back um i recommend a tow bar any day of the week also just to set this car off a little bit better uh, I think it should have some rails. Uh, this car doesn't have rails, but it does have the fixings for them, uh, which is on here. You pop that cover off, and there's just a threaded um, nut in there. So, yeah, I think I'll do some research to see if we can get some silver rails for this car. Um, his blue one's got them fitted. I'm not entirely sure if someone in the past had decided to fit them or if that actually was uh, an optional extra uh, i don't think it is but i'll double check um but yeah i think a nice pair of silver rails on this car will be quite nice and um, sets the tone off much better well uh well this is where the video comes to end uh, i have got some news for you guys um, i'll do that in the next video so if you like my content and uh, you wish to subscribe please do um, obviously you subscribing helps the channel immensely um, please share my videos um, I'm sure there's someone out there who's after info on uh, hydraulic pumps or switches and whatnot um, the future videos I will be doing uh, will be um, more in depth with switches and sort of electric window mechanisms and just the usual you know stuff you don't really see a lot on uh, youtube so uh, yeah i'll be probably focusing on that also um in the next couple of weeks i'm going to start work on the c5 caravan and uh yeah what can i say on that really well if you like my uh, videos please subscribe and if you wish to notice uh, wish to have any notifications please tick the uh, bell button and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching take care